Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today I am not playing a game. Great, right? It's kind of like, well, what the hell are you doing here? You know, wh why uh, why randomly show up and, and bother us if, if there's nothing to look at? Well, there is one thing I did want to share, and that is something I'm really excited about. So um, I was just kind of chatting in, in the normal Belugan chat room that I kind of hang out with, and uh, a friend in there, Kushin from Kushin's Gaming, pointed out to me a post which was on the uh, Rule the Waves forum. It was made by the Naval Warfare Simulations uh, developer of Rule the Waves and was kind of exciting. So if you guys remember, oh, it might have been a year ago or so, but, but the game came out in 2015. It was called Rule the Waves, and it is a game which puts you in the shoes of a uh, Grand Admiral in the early 1900s. It's 1900 to 1925, focuses on naval combat, uh, but really the focus of the game is on ship design, and it was a really nifty little game. I did a Let's Play of it. it, seemed to be pretty popular with a lot of you, and I just found some exciting news out. You may have already seen it here, uh, but a post from Frederick W., the developer of Rule the Waves, is talking about a public beta patch which is going in for Rule the Waves, which, by the way, uh, Rule the Waves 1 has a lot of changes from when I played it before. So I'm thinking about doing another series looking at Rule the Waves with the most current version because there have been a lot of changes. But uh, the focus of this video is not what's all happening in Rule the Waves currently. It is this little tidbit down here from Frederick. It says, as soon as this version, so as soon as this beta version, is stable and no bugs reported, we will publish the official version 1.3.3 of Rule the Waves, RTW. Great. You know, that's not really what this is about. Here is the kicker. And we will thereafter focus development efforts on Rule the Waves 2. Yes, that's Rule the Waves 2. I don't generally do a ton of announcement videos where it's like, this game is coming! Um, especially for a game like this where I'm like, hey, look at people's you know comments in the, in the forums. It's so exciting. Uh, but in this case, I'm actually quite excited to hear that Rule the Waves 2 is coming out. I was kind of hoping for an expansion that maybe you know took... Uh, took the era a little bit forward, like you'd have kind of Age of Steam combat, maybe bring it forward to 1890 or, you know, something like that, where you could have the pre-Dreadnoughts, you know, have their full 15-year era from 1890 to 1905, and then the Dreadnoughts can have their 15 to 20-year era from 1905 to 1920. I think that'd be really interesting if you kind of have these pre-Dreadnought -pre ships that you've got to kind of phase out as the pre-Dreadnoughts come in, build up your fleet of pre-Dreadnoughts, and then, you know, once that's done, then you've got to, now you got to shift away and abandon all those obsolete ships and replace them with a the Dreadnought. I think it adds a lot to the naval race, but with that being said, um, it looks like instead of an expansion, they're going the direction of Rule the Waves 2, so it will be very interesting to see what we find out about this game, or when we when we even hear anything about it. Um, I don't know if the beta patch has been posted yet, that was two weeks ago, so I don't know if this is official uh, or not yet. But if you actually take a look, this is this was in mid-September, there is a quite a long list of a Rule the Waves 2 wish list, if you will. There's a Rule the Waves 2 suggestions uh, forum that was started in August of, of this year. I don't know if it was uh, something that was uh, publicly known until, you know, back then. But as far as Rule the Waves 2 is concerned, I don't know how close they're taking, you know, suggestions for this. If there's a wish list that's active being actively being looked at, but if it is something that interests you, I'd go ahead and check out the forums. It's uh, Naval Warfare Simulations forums. They've got a really long uh, name for their forums. They, or nws-online.proboards.com. They could probably work on that URL. Uh, but that being said, I am really excited, guys, to hear that there's going to be a Naval Warfare Simulations 2. Uh, I hope this video was somewhat worth your time. I know, again, that uh, it wasn't... Uh, much to look at. I will be back with another gameplay video probably in two days on September 4th, uh, but I did want to share this here with you today because, uh, as you can tell here, I am really, really excited about this, and it may cause me to do a new series uh, of videos looking specifically at Rule the Waves uh, with all the changes and updates that the patches have brought because there have been numerous patches, and when I played, I was playing with the very first version of the game. So it might be 
might be worth revisiting. Uh, at the same time, at some point, I want to do this review on this fantastic book on German battle cruisers, uh, which I, you know, I, I haven't had a chance to dig into it, but it's, you know, amazingly well done. 3D renderings of the ships, uh, and uh, you know, I, I'll put the link to it in the description. But I definitely want to do a video focusing about that. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you'd like to see another series of Rule the Waves 2. Uh, and I just wanted to make all of you aware because I don't know how many of you are closely following the Naval Warfare Simulations board or not. And uh, my guess is a lot of you wouldn't be. I wasn't. You know, I haven't seen any official public announcement anywhere. It was just sort of an offhanded remark in the forums by the developer of Naval Warfare Simulations. And the only reason I even heard about it was a friend, you know, sent me a link about it. So uh, I hope this you know, make some of you aware. I hope this gets some of you excited and let me know if you'd like to see another naval or another uh, Rule the Waves series on the channel or not. But uh, until next time, guys, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching and I'm out.